guys and welcome to Lionesses Daily, a brand new show bringing you closer than ever to our Lionesses during the World Cup. We'll be with you every single day throughout the tournament right here on Twitter. Do not miss out. Yes, welcome to Lionesses Daily. We'll be joining the team all over France in this bad boy behind me. And we want you guys to come along on the road trip. We'll be here every day at five o'clock. Now, don't forget, you can follow our Lionesses throughout the tournament. Their Twitter handles are on the screen right now. So do give them a follow. But I am so excited to introduce our very first guest of the show. It is Captain Steph Horton and head coach Phil Neville. Hello, guys. Hi. Morning. Welcome. You're right. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. She's now grumpy first, today. She's is grumpy. she grumpy? Yeah, Phil, she's grumpy I knew today. you were going to say that. I'm not grumpy, guys. Why, why is Steph grumpy? All the friends, you know, the two that she's got in the team, have gone out, have gone, have gone out for a coffee this <laughs> They've morning. They've left you, and you're here. Uh, now, I told you that this is the place to be for all the latest news on the Lionesses, and I am thrilled to be able to exclusively reveal that the Lionesses will be back playing at Wembley on November the 9th, facing Germany. Now, if you are a member of the Lionesses Supporters Club, you can get your tickets from 12 o'clock tomorrow. If you're not a member, don't worry. It is so easy. Just head online, sign up, and you can get your tickets tickets. Phil, obviously, the main thing right now is the World Cup. That is the focus. But, I mean, it'll be great for the team to be back playing at Wembley, won't it? It will. And, and to be fair, the players don't know, so it's the first that the <laughs> players have... Well, surprise, yeah. Surprise, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, it's something that we've been talking about for the last 12 months, yeah. obviously, because of the logistics of Wembley and the amount of events they've got there. It's been difficult to arrange the game, but I think the way that the women's game is growing, I think it's important we get back to Wembley Stage and we fill it. It's such a, a prestigious fixture against Germany. And, uh, you know, after the World Cup, we can start thinking about looking forward to playing, uh, playing a game at Wembley. Of course, and the World Cup is finally here. Has it sunk in yet? Not really. Maybe a little bit yesterday. I think once we got here, I think everybody was dying to get here. It's been um, two tough weeks of training and uh, we've worked really hard, but I think it was just all about getting to here and getting in this weather and the first train sessions today. So we're all excited to get out back on the pitch. Awesome. And is it excitement right now? I mean, Phil, you said in that brilliant documentary that you cruelly missed out on the chance to go to the World Cup as a player. So does it make you more hungry to be here now? It does, yeah. I think we've got 11 players in the squad that haven't been to a World Cup and, we, and obviously the rest of the girls have been to World Cup. So yesterday when we, when we touched down and we had the celebration at the hotel uh, with the welcome party, it feels real now. And, uh, you know, when I took the job 16 months ago, I wanted to get to this point where we were arriving in France and we were ready to attack the World Cup. And, you know, we've got a massive game on Sunday. We've got three important games and uh, I sense a, a really good vibe within the group. Awesome. Now, what is the mood like here in camp? In fact, let's get someone else to answer that for us. Now, the team arrived here in Nice yesterday and who better to bring us the first episode of Access All Areas than Queen of the Crot? It's Beth Mead and Vlog Squad. <laughs> Fans, we're coming for you. Say hello. hello. Hi guys, we've arrived in Nice. Uh, the weather's lovely and the perfect little I love Nice sign for you all. Made it to the hotel with my roomie Jodie Taylor. Hello. Okay, great stuff. So, Steph, who is the biggest nightmare when you're travelling, like yesterday? Let dish the dirt. Come on. God, I sat next to Rachel Daly for the flight, and she, all she did was moan <laughs> about how long it was going to be. When are you going to France? The France is literally yeah, like it's too two hot. Hours. It's too hot in the airport, Steph. It's too. We, we're carrying this bag, Steph. I'm like, oh, come on, Rach. Um, Probably Jill, I'll probably Jill, Jill up there. Yeah. Probably because she's quite forgetful and she's just just so laid back. She'd just be like, where's the coffee shop? Where we get, where's Costa, wherever that is, so. But she had a passport with her, right? 
Yeah, she did actually, yeah. It's only because the security woman had it. <laughs> now I could sit here and ask you guys questions all day, but this is not about me. That would be nice, but this is about you guys, the fans, and we know how excited you are to see the Lionesses in action in a few days' time. Now we have some tweets from the fans. Are you ready? Right, so hey, it's Tay B says, Steph, what is your favourite memory playing for England? And Phil, which is better, playing for England or managing? So Steph, we'll come to you first. Favourite memory? Um, probably the bronze medal match um, in Canada, the last World Cup. You're always going on about that. I know, yeah. <laughs> hey, move on. We need to win a medal. <laughs> no move on. No pressure. <laughs> um, what else? Um, maybe being made it captain of England. I think that was a special moment, not just for me, but my family as well. Um, and obviously my 100th cap, even though we didn't get the result that we wanted. It was a long time coming and... Yeah, I didn't have a very good game that game. It's massive differences, obviously. Uh, nothing recreates playing, but I've got to say, when, when I made my uh, when I, my first game against France in Chiblis, when I was stood on the touchline in the technical area and the national anthem was on, I was in my, my England blazer, it, it was a special moment because... Are you laughing at? Why are you laughing, Steph? Are you wearing at this tournament? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a special moment because, you know, you, you never know how you're going to feel. You never know how you're going to feel, the pride, the, you think about you know, your journey that you've been on and, and the occasion and everything. It, it was a special moment and uh, you know, one that, that I'll, I'll, I always wanted to manage. Uh, and to, and to, manage, to manage your country at the top level is, is the pinnacle. And uh, I've got to say, management has given me every bit of thrill as what my playing career did. Amazing. Now, we'll have one more question. So, F. Lammy says, what do you do in your free time? I always wonder this. Also, you might be able to hear, there's a plane going past. I'm guessing it's all the England fans coming in to support you. Am I right? Steph's family on the private jet. <laughs> it probably is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what do you do in your spare time? Do you get much of it? Well, not today. Um, no, I'm only messing. Um, probably just go for coffee with the girls. Um, just go for a little wander around. I think we all went for a walk last night just uh, across, along the beach um, just to kind of see, probably scouting out where the coffee shops are. <laughs> Are you obsessed with coffee? Obsessed. Yeah. Obsessed. Something to do, isn't and it, really? And what happens is, every town that you go in, yeah. we'll say to the technical team who, who work every hour, you know, while the players are resting, and we'll say, oh, let's go out for a walk. So we'll go, and Bev, my assistant, will say, oh, let's go to this coffee shop. There'll be, there'll be five players in that one, so we can't go in that one. <laughs> every coffee shop we go in, there's so a sprinkling really of players. So really, they follow us. <laughs> yeah, you're a trendsetter. Yeah. You might not know this, but Phil is a vegan. Yeah. Veg surprise. Vegetarian, now. Vegetarian. Oh, yeah. Okay. Were you, were you a vegan before? Yeah, for, for the She Believes, I was a ve I went vegan. <laughs> you can't but just change. <laughs> no, but I'll be honest with you, I'd, I'd done 16 days before She Believes and I went to, I went to America and I did the yeah. first five or six days. And you know what America's like? Every restaurant's got these big sirloin steaks in. Yeah. So I then went to vegetarian, uh, stuck with it, and then by two days to go, uh, I caved in and started having meat again, but then coming back out to the World Cup, I'm now 10 days into being a vegetarian again. Okay. Because we so it won, doesn't count, really. We won, she believes, me being a vegetarian, so right. I'm thinking that's a good omen. OK, so Phil used to be a vegan. He is now a vegetarian. Here are five more things that you might not know, but this time about our very own Jade Moore. sailing around Europe in a boat. I feel like you're going to have a story or two to tell us when you are sat here. Right, the England men's seniors are also in action tomorrow in the Nations League against Netherlands. Of course, we wish them the very best of luck, but we have a very special message for the two of you. So if you take this and press play. Hi Phil, hi Steph. Uh, I know you're in the studio for today's programme um, and we just wanted to send you a message from all of the men's senior team. Um, we know how well prepared you are um, for the tournament. Uh, we know what a brilliant experience that's going to be for you. 
um, we're very confident that you're going to uh, have an extremely successful tournament. So enjoy it. Good luck to everybody there. Um, we're all supporting you and we know that you're going to do everybody proud. Phil, have you had any words of wisdom from Gareth? No, the, we, we speak because our, our offices are next to each yeah. other. Uh, what happened last summer with, with the senior men was, was, was massive for the whole of the FA. Uh, and, and what we've seen over the last 12 months, we've seen a real integration and, and alignment with everybody. He's, he's a tremendous example of, 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 of probably how to handle yourself as an England manager, you know, in, in terms of the, the words that he speaks in the media, the way he handles the press. And you, you look at that team spirit that he's galvanised with, uh, with the men's team. Uh, we, we've, we've, we've tried to create that with the, the senior women. Now, throughout the tournament here on Lionesses Daily, we'll be giving you the chance to win Money Can't Buy prizes thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. Now, first up is a chance to go pitch side to watch the Lionesses warm up at Wembley ahead of the game in November. You'll be so close, you can almost touch them, but don't do that because that is a little bit weird. Uh, three of you can win and you can take a friend each. Now, it's so easy to enter. All you've got to do is go to the link on the screen and answer a very simple question. Good luck and we will announce the winners on Sunday ahead of the game against Scotland. So Sunday, June the 9th. Right guys, that's it. Right, can you get up on your feet for us? Yeah. Because we want you guys to do us the honour of being the first people to sign the front of the Lioness's car. Look, more fans coming in. They just can't keep away, can they? So if you go ahead and sign the front for us. Front Question. Anywhere. Yeah, just anywhere. You're starting this. So obviously me and the crew are in this following you guys around. If you were stuck in this with one player from the squad for 800 miles, who would you pick? Karen Carney. Karen Carney. <laughs> 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 oh, God, <laughs> vegan friends, that's all I'm saying. Oh, vegetarian. Yes, yeah, ve vegetarian. Together. I'll have to say Ellen White. Ellen White, brilliant. Okay, give us your signatures. Now, we love our lionesses, but what does it mean to our team to be a lioness? I'll leave you with Carly Telford, and we'll see you back here at the same time tomorrow. I'm Carly Telford and I'm a lioness. What does it mean to be a lioness? Uh, it's probably the biggest, biggest honour in the world. It's something you dream as of a kid, playing for England. I think now you've officially got a tag. I think it makes it even more special because you have something you can aspire to be. So I think now that I can class myself as a lioness is something really special. All of our journeys, if you speak to us, are all different, but I think we've all been very determined to get to this point. Sacrificing a lot of things in life is, in normal life is hard, but I think in football, it's hard for people to understand that you spend a lot of time away from the people that you care for. Losing my mum last year was was difficult, but um, at the same time, I get to go to our favorite country in the world and, and make new memories in France. And I know she won't be physically there, but mentally she will be. and. And that's what means the most. So I wish I could have spent more time with her. But I know that she allowed me to spend time away from her to do what I love and and, um, and that's really important. And all she wanted me to do was live my dreams and that's what I'm doing. <laughs>